Hello guys, the DV Grinder here, back at it again with another video, and this time we have Sean EU versus Save XD, and this is a match with some OCG cards that are going to be coming to the TCG soon, and with that being said, let's hop right into the video, and then we are going to see Save XD when the Rock, Paper, Scissors shoots, so they can decide they want to go first or second, and then looking at the deck counts, we have 40 versus 41, and Save's going to go first. Opening hands, we have Gold, Sark, Ecclesia, Driver, Long Young, and then Strike, so no no like hand traps here or anything and then they have long young strike tie e ecclesia these hands are like like very close like look driver driver ecclesia ecclesia young 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 strike strike like they have four of the same cards <laughs> and like the only cards that are different is the tie e and gold star if they opened up the same hands out of been insane if he was on 40 they would have opened up the same hands and they're going to normal summon effect, tribute, summon out, and then you're going to get that effect. Go ahead, reveal, and then bring out tokens. So, you know, they're just going to get the combo here freely. They're going to get those effects, you know, draw, go search. Oh, they got another strike. They're going to grab peak, and then long young, discard, special summon out, token. And this is going to end up reborn in the tie, and then summon out the negate, activate, special summon out. And then you're going to get that effect. And then that's going to banish spells, summon out token, and then turn those. Ooh, okay. So they ended up using this effect to uh, increase the level there. So that way they can go for Shen Shen. Okay. Okay. And then set to strike, pass turn, draw the sudden shift. They're going to go ahead and special summon out Ecclesia. And then use that effect, tribute. Chain strike. This doesn't have to like go to graveyard, right? Yeah, you can just tribute up. Then go ahead and they're gonna strike that and then activate long young, discard, chain strike. Yeah, they just submit defeat. That board was way too good for them to be. So going on to game two, we're going to so I, actually I should have said this, but this is a Shi Young Gen mirror match. Uh, you know, we can tell that just by the opening hands. This deck's definitely cool. I plan on working on this deck a lot more, especially like on my streams. It's probably going to be the deck I show off the most um, for a little while at least. Opening hands, we have Sudden Shift, Valor, Tai, Called by and Ecclesia. Also, if you want to check out me playing this deck and like my full streams and everything, you can check out my second channel down below in the description. But yeah, this hand works here. Uh, this is a starter, protect it, and then they have a Piers, this is Rhoda, Long Young, Ecclesia, Tai E, and Ash. So the Ash is going to end up being met with a called by. Imagine if they game with that right there. She she would have been so good. Just an extra negate. Like you get to stop that and then put up an extra negate. Reveal token and then go ahead. And they're gonna go for the synchro and then get synchro and draw effect, draw imperm. And then go ahead and search out the Long Young. And then Long Young, discard, special summon, bring out token, and then slap those into the negate. You're going to get the burn. Did they forget the burn last game? I feel like they did, right? Yeah, yeah, they did. Wow. Can't believe I forgot to bring that up. I love that extra effect. I like it when cards have like tiny extra effects. They're just like randomly good. And then pass, draw desires, they're going to go ahead and activate desires and banish 10. And then they're going to be negating that, looking at those. Uh, we see like token collector, this card is really good in the mirror match. Uh, you know, if you drop this card against this deck, the deck definitely struggles. And the fact that this card just like, it stays around, it's not like an ash blossom where you ash blossom someone and that's the only time you use it, you know, this card stays on board, you get rid of it, it comes back, like this card's gonna really become more popular. It's actually funny because now that this card's gonna be like super popular in side decks whenever this deck comes out, that's gonna make the deck Infernoble that's already not played a lot even less played just because they're gonna be side decked for Kind of like how like ABC people have like Cycle Reader in their side decks. Uh, activate, go grab Moe, and then they are going to Normal Summon, activate the effect, reveal a Tai, and then they're going to go ahead and change Synchro to stop that, and then get rid of those for Baxia, and then Baxia effect, try to shuffle back, 
We're going to chain Valor to stop that. Um, what? Yeah, <laughs> I was about to say, like, if this is negated, how are you about to get rid of it to bring back? Yeah, they definitely messed up there. Then get rid of that, summon out, bring out token, and then they're going to get rid of those, go for synchro. They forgot the burn effect again. Wow. I feel like, like, they're definitely testing here. You can tell, like, they're definitely in Discord how, like, they're not talking at all, and they told them, like, that they actually had to come back. So you can definitely tell they're in Discord. I feel like this player should probably be telling the person that they're testing against, hey, you know, burn for 12. Uh, yeah. I mean, they remembered it when they were playing, so I feel like they should tell their opponent to remember it. Uh, but they're going to use this effect to pop. Uh, negated imperm with this. This card's pretty good. Um, pass, draw Moe. The thing is, is they don't have anything here. Like the opponent. They're going to go ahead and banish. Uh, bring out a token, sudden shift effect, bring out a token, and then turn those two into the synchro. And then you're going to be getting those effects. Or, or I guess they're just going to use this effect and not that effect. And then activate spell, summon back out, and then turn those into the synchro. So they're actually playing multiple of this. Uh, so they're going to use this effect to pop the other synchro and then go ahead and beat over and attack directly and also they forgot to tell them to take 12 yeah they forgot to have them take 12 and then they're gonna draw peak activate you know just go ahead and negate that uh, similar card they're playing with there and then going on to game three we are going to see sav xd be going first opening hands we have sudden shift appears talents desires and token collector so hey, we're gonna see it here uh this is a card that you can play in the deck if you get hit with token collector you can activate talents take token token collector and then summon out the babuska no it's, it's not great but it's decent and they have Desires, Gamma, Sudden Shift, Gold Sark, and Ecclesia. So they're going to Normal Summon out Ecclesia, Effect, bring out Moe, Effect, Reveal Sudden Shift, and then slap Token on board. Then they're going to go ahead and Token Collector, then activate Desires. You know, when are we going to get Cross out? I think it's so dumb that OCG just gets cards that we just never get. Like, Needle Fiber took like three years. Like, Konami. Stop slacking. Come on now. Even though I think that card, I don't think like that card called by our talents. I don't think like any of those should exist. I think all those should just be like banned outright. I don't think they should have ever been cards. I still think it's kind of unfair that OCG gets to play a different game than we do uh, when it comes to like card availability. And I also think we should have one ban list. Um, yeah. Oh, so they're playing the Iris Sold Soul. That's weird. So they have this card as Sword Soul, but they still have these as the Xiong Gems. That's, uh, that's interesting. Also, they banished... Is that three? Oh, no. it's only two Taiyi. Oh, we know they're on Desire, so they're probably playing three of it. Pass, draw Imperm. And then they're going to go ahead and activate Desires, and then this will go ahead and banish 10, and then draw Valor and Peak. Banished all three Ecclesia. Um, and nothing too bad off of that. I didn't banish like three of anything. Uh, activate Appears, go search out the Mogi, and then Normal Summon that out, overlay it for Babuska, and then they're going to go Battle Phase, Attack. And then main phase two, go for Zeus. Maybe they should have a uh, sudden shift on that and pop those before they knew this was going to come out. Then go for Zeus. Zeus effect, chain gamma. And then go ahead and bring out driver. And then talent draw. Like maybe this was why they didn't want to do that. But like, uh, it's just so rough. Like this card's so good. And then they're going to activate the peak. And it's going to special summon back out. And then effect reveal. Go ahead and summon out token. And then get rid of those. Summon out synchro. You know, synchro, draw effect, draw gamma. Go grab the long yun. 
And then they're gonna set the sudden shift imperm and pass. Draw long yun. Then they are going to activate the rota. Go search out Tai. And then normal summon Tai effect. Banish, summon out token, and then drop token collector. And then activate desires. This will go ahead and banish 10. And then draw instant fusion and gamma. So the instant fusion is going to let them put a level 4 token on board. They do have sudden shift though. They're going to go ahead and summon this out. Activate sudden shift. They're going to chain their own sudden shift it looks like. Okay, so everything's just going to get popped there. <laughs> Gold star, banish, and then get that effect token. I wonder how many traps are they playing? Um, didn't banish any off the desires. Okay, so maybe only two. Pass, draw, imperm. They were just doing that there because, like, if they do that, like, next turn, token collector is just going to be dropped. Pass, draw, moe. And then normal summon that out. Get rid of those, that's gonna be a synchro, and then you know you're gonna go ahead and get those effects, chain imperm, so they just get the draw and they draw into imperm, and then go ahead and poke. And then set pass, draw imperm. So they just have nothing here still. Pass, draw desires. And then the sudden shift's gonna come back off of the gold sark. Long yun effect, discard the sudden shift, activate gamma, and then it's gonna go ahead and get destroyed, and then you know, bring out gamma, bring out driver. And then pass, draw Moe, and uh, you know, they're gonna go ahead and imperm that, and then normal summon, effect reveal, they're gonna chain imperm. Oh, uh, yeah, it doesn't banish. So, still has nothing. They draw imperm there, and then they're gonna go ahead and beat over, and then pass, draw Tai. So they can go ahead and yeah, use that, discard, special summon out, bring out token, and then slap those into the Grand Duke, effect, burn for 12. And this card is gaining a lot here. I wish DB would stop having this fuzzy glitch. It's so annoying because then I have to press next play to get rid of it. And then more stuff's going to get activated when I press next play. It's so trash. Uh, this card gains 1,000 or 100 attack and defense for each banished card. And then monsters your opponent's controls lose 100 attack for each banished card. So, you know, this is at zero here. And this is at a lot. Like, a lot, a lot. Like, that, that would have just been game there. But they had Imperm. But I guess they could have also just used this, right? Like, this wasn't negated by anything. Yeah, why not just use this? <laughs> like, activate, banish something, negate, instead of using your Imperm. Yeah, they just go ahead and admit defeat there. So, that was definitely an interesting match. Uh, we really saw Token Collector put in a lot of work. I can't wait until uh, we're going to have like this deck actually out. I don't know when all this stuff actually comes out. I knew at one point, and now I'm just like saying words when it comes out. Because they keep changing it. And honestly, I don't feel like keeping up with it. Because they're probably just going to change it again. Because Konami just is whack i don't i don't know why they keep changing it like they shouldn't make a release date on a product until they know when it's going to come out instead of being like oh here's the release date oh sorry it's coming out four months earlier here's the release date for this but it's coming out two weeks later it's like you're uh you're like messing with the whole Yu-Gi-Oh market for no reason just because you can't make up your mind when the product's gonna come out or because you don't know how to like you don't know like when stuff's gonna be done and ready to ship but like why why even talk about it until it's like i guess ready I, I don't know i don't know but we are going to see that the match wow that was a really quick match i don't know that felt a lot longer in 23 minutes like for a match it felt like the video could have been 23 minutes long. I don't, I don't know. Maybe it was. Maybe it'll just take a while to explain stuff. But, yeah. Not sure. Um, 
But if you want to see me try building this deck, theorizing this deck, and like my full stream trying to play it, um, I have like my first day of trying to play it already uploaded on the second channel. And maybe even by the time that this video goes up, there'll be like another day of me testing the deck out. So go ahead and check out my second channel down below in the description. Also, please use my TCG player affiliate link, become a channel member. Or use my Imperium Duels code for 10% off. All the money I make through those goes directly back into the channel through giveaways. So the more that you help support me, the more that I'm going to help like give back. And with that being said, the DB Grinders signing off. Peace. Have a nice day. Stay safe.